cutting grass today, right? Okay, I have this huge farm and I cut the grass and I do all the landscaping. <sighs> and dear baby Jesus, I'm stuck. What am I supposed to do with this? How do I do this by myself? I'll put these in and I'm hoping they help me work. I have my trusty sidekick, Augie. So we're gonna try and do it. Okay, thank God for friendly people in the country of North Carolina. This man saw me struggling driving by in his HVAC truck and called First Choice Air Heating and Air Conditioning. So shout out to Ken at First Choice Heating and Air Conditioning. He came and got me on the lawnmower and he just physically pushed it out. I mean, I did get my helpers, but thank you, Ken. Thank you for kind people. And I'm even more grateful that you didn't throw me in the back of your white van and kidnap me. I mean, it would have been an adventure. You don't know what you would have had in store with me, boo. But anyway, thank you. My favorite thing about cutting the grass is that my dog, Augie, follows me the whole time. There he is. Augie, come. My dog, he just follows me around everywhere and always wanting to protect me. And I just freaking love him. I love you, boo. So this is from one of the back corners of my property. I have so much beautiful space, so much pasture space where we can do such fun things. Although this back corner, my idea is to have a quiet corner. I got to protect my introverts, okay? And nobody's allowed to speak to them over here. <laughs> and then we've got cornhole there and we've got the fire pit there. And then up there, we're gonna put the, a tent hopefully with all the classes yoga dance and stuff like that so we'll put the stage right here up on the high hill so the ground in case it rains all the camping will be back there and then we're going to use my front porch as the stage for all the speakers and entertainment because we have electricity and everybody can just set their chairs out here Oh, we got a FedEx driver. Oh, he's coming. All the parking will be along my quarter of a mile driveway with cars parked in between the trees. I've counted, I can fit 80 cars. And along this side will be where the vendors can park and set up their booths. So we'll have vendors there. And then of course, we have the beautiful pond that everybody can sit around and fish and a gazebo. We'll have some activities on the gazebo and the island as well. But, I mean, I have a lot of freaking space and we can fit everybody. I believe so.